88 buildings in a three and a half block area. This was to be Lincoln Center. This majestic place. She just gleams, you know. Whenever I'm in the neighborhood, I'll come over and I'll say, hi there. <laughs> Remember me? You know, I opened you. <laughs> The old opera house, it was so beautiful, red and gold. I just fell in love with it. The old Met on Broadway at 39th Street was built in 1883. It poles in front of seats. I mean, that's the way it was built. They used to rehearse literally in ante rooms to the toilets. Seventh Avenue was our storage area. It was tiny. Rudolf Bing came in 1949. Bing really realized the Met needed a new place. I don't think I quite visualized the hell it would be. He was tough as nails. Getting big projects built in New York was a test of endurance and stamina and cunning. Bureaucrat Robert Moses cut through all the red tape. Lincoln Square was the largest urban renewal project Moses pursued. People might see this as tragedy, as destruction. We were forced to move out, you know, connections with nobody. Moses and the Metropolitan Opera Board approached Wallace Harrison to be the lead architect with a number of different architects on one project. There was 44 different designs for the Opera House. Philip Johnson hated Harrison. Moses was obsessed there had to be a part. And Bing ganged up with all the rest of them. These were the people who turned his dreams into nightmares. Everybody wanted more. They fought, didn't they? They fought quite a little bit. The chandeliers happened from an accident. A splat happened just before a meeting. My father quickly added some lines. Why well, it looks very nice. Mr. Bing said, Leontine, you have been chosen to open the new Metropolitan Opera House. Are you kidding me? I thought I was going to die. Franco Zeffirelli directed the production of Antony and Cleopatra. Ready? Pipes everywhere. My God, what is he doing? The tomb wouldn't open, and I was locked inside. He puts an army on the stage as the turntable breaks. You can't use it. It is an emergency. It's a what new house is an emergency. When something doesn't happen as you willfully want it, it opens your mind to something that's right in front of you. There's is something that is shared because all these ideas have to come together. I'll tell you, it's more than a building. It will endure for another 50 years, my dear. Trust me.